Hey Denture family, it's me from Tennessee and we have spring coming on fast here in Tennessee and it is gorgeous outside but if you've never visited Tennessee I'm going to suggest that you pack your bags and come on down before this hot season gets here called summer. Let me help you a little bit with packing your bag for Tennessee. First of all, you're going to need your raincoat, you're going to need your galoshes, you're going to need your sunscreen, you're going to need your shorts, you're going to need your snowsuit, and you're going to need uh, your swim trunks, okay? Let me tell you, and that's just for the first day, because in Tennessee, we run it that way. It could be 25 degrees in the morning, by 10 o'clock it can be 70, by 2 o'clock it could be monsoon raining with thunderstorms and tornadoes and then by the evening it can be back down and we could have four inches of snow on the ground that's just the way it is in tennessee you know it's almost like this denture adventure that we're on right from one moment to the next from the morning you put it in and you think it's going to fit and then by 12 o'clock it's popping out everywhere and you're having to put them in your cup and then by two o'clock you're thinking oh my goodness, I just wasn't prepared for all this. And by four o'clock, you're over it. You're done with it. You've got them in your cup and that's where they're staying. But yet you still got to eat and all you can find is potatoes in the cupboard. Wow. You know, if I would have known what I know now, would I have gone through this? I don't know. But I am going to tell you, it does get better. I am going to tell you, though, that you're going to get in your own head, and you're going to let people get in your own head, and you got to let all of that go. Let me also say this to you. I thought whenever I got these dentures, and this is really what I thought, all right, I've had three kids. I've watched my husband. He just went through it like a trooper. He didn't show me all that mental anguish he was going through. He made phone calls to his friends who were denture wearers and said, Hey, look, it's going to be this way. You got to toughen up. Trust me, it's going to get better. He didn't let me see all that. He tells me now what he did, but he, he knew me well enough to know that if I, if I saw any of that in him, that I don't know if I would have just jumped right in and been so vulnerable to get it done as quickly as I did after he did. I mean, again, I just thought, hey, I'm going to get my teeth pulled out. They're going to give me these beautiful pearlies. I'm going to have about six weeks of getting over a surgery. And then I'm going to be good to go ready to eat anything I want to, do anything I want to, and I'm not going to have to do anything other than pop these babies in every day and just live happily ever after. I mean, hey, isn't that the picture that we all had in our head? But instead, what we get? We got a tornado going on here, y'all. We've got, from one moment we get there, we got sutures all the way across, the dentures that they have us won't fit, then we have to live with them and try to figure it out. Some of us get new ones, some of us don't. We have to put all this gunk in our mouth to try to just fit in everything. We're having to eat soft foods like we're babies again because we have no teeth in our head that will allow us to bite. Then we're having to be told that, hey, it's a process. You've got a lot of shrinking going on and your mouth is going to change not just every week, but by the way, you can change from morning to afternoon. Remember that Tennessee weather? Well, that's our mouth too. So I just want you to understand that if you're feeling all of this stuff where you're mourning your teeth, I would have never thought I would have mourned my teeth, but I mourned my teeth. I cried for my teeth. And that is very, very normal. I've had those things in my body for almost 60 years. And now they're gone. I, I, I have so many pictures with my teeth in my mouth. And now they're gone. And now I'm this whole new person I'm having to learn to love and live with. We can be our own worst enemy. But let me say something to you, to the ones that don't have that kind of support at home. Let me just tell you, people that talk 
down at you because you don't have any teeth in your mouth and because you're working through this process. And I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that those people are so low, that they're so lame and they're so shallow. Had they had to wear this shoe on their feet, hmm, how would they have done? So I just want to tell you to not let them get to you, okay? You did this because, first of all, your health. It was needed. Don't forget all of the reasons why you did this. They're just jealous of the fact that you took your life, your health, your mouth into your own hands and you did something in a positive way to make sure that from here on out that your life is better. They're not brave enough. They're not where you are. So you shouldn't be consumed with their thoughts about what you did they're lacking you're not so also I want to tell you that if you are one of those people that keep your keep your feelings on your shoulders you've got to toughen okay it's your only way of survival you've got to toughen you've got to be your own advocate you've got to express to your dentist what you need and what needs to be done if this was your mama, if this was your child, if this was your spouse, and if this was your best friend going through this, and you're listening to what they're telling you that your journey has been, would you want to be the first person at that dentist office to say, look, enough is enough. We shouldn't have to pay for customer service. This should be the price that we pay for the teeth and to have that customer service in that bundle of teeth work that we're getting. This should not be an extra cost. And my family deserves to be treated better. Well, guess what? You got to do that for yourself. So, again, for all the ones that are new, if you don't have everything and you don't have that experience about what's going on, picking back on us, that's what this platform is about, Piggyback on us. Take the information that we're giving you. Take these experiences that we're giving you and learn from them. Create what you need to happen in your own life based upon what we've already told you, how we did it. None of this came with a playbook. None of this came with a manual. We wish it would have. It would have been so much easier, but it didn't. So learn from us and just take that for whatever it's worth and create your situation the way you need it created. You're going to have a lot of things that you're going to think, what did I do? But trust me, in the end, it will all be worth it. But use this platform. Don't, don't let your mental health get, get you, okay? Because it will. There's so many days that I just, if it had not have been for some of you all that I personally called, uh, text, written on this platform that I was falling apart and you all didn't reach out to me, I don't know what I would have done. So thank you. But also to the new ones, use us. We're here for you. Enjoy the seasons that we're in right now. It will be beautiful in the end. See you soon.